Welcome back. We are live and we're going behind some of the headlines out there. And one big headline that's been trending for the past few days involves rap superstar Brad and her beauty entrepreneur wife, Judy Dupart. And they are here and along with me that you might see right now, Dr. Stephanie Marshall Thompson, who's a reproductive <laughs> endocrinologist and infertility physician. Thank you so much, doctor, for joining us. Um, you know, the Brad, how many weeks are you now? 29. 29 wow. weeks. Yes. Wow. And you said, you know, a little sleepy. Yes, always sleepy All and always crying. <laughs> always crying. <laughs> I told her, I said, Judy, in the break, the last time we were here when they were talking about the journey, Judy was crying, and now this time, those hormones come at you fast, huh? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so sick of crying all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I lost all my swag. I can't even really write it. <laughs> A good tough rap song anymore. Like, <laughs> you can't, can't get the uh, toughness out. Judy, I know part of uh, what you did when you announced the journey and the transparency is that you really talked about the cost of IVF. You even gave a grant of $10,000 to help someone afford IVF treatment. Um, we have Dr. Thompson here. Just, I just want people to know by the numbers, a single IVF round, a single one, can range from $15,000 to $30,000. And that's with no guarantees. The average cost of sperm donation, $400 to $2,000 per vial. Egg donation, $14 to $47,000 per cycle. Genetic testing, $1,800 to $6,000. In this case, we're talking about race, but what we're talking about here is money. Money? Money. And there are people out there, white, black, Asian, indigenous, otherwise, who want to be parents, and those numbers, you will be mortgaging your whole life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's the truth. That's the truth. I think the first thing that we have to do is have this conversation. Because if we don't have the conversation and we don't talk about it, then we don't know that we need the access. And we have to get the word out there, especially in the black community, mm -hmm. so that we know that we suffer from infertility also. Mm -hmm. Because there's this huge thought process that black women do not suffer from infertility. Really? Yeah. Absolutely. There's, there's Absolutely. There's a belief out there? There's they clearly didn't there. watch the Tamron Hall show. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they need to tune in. Oh, uh, they need to tune in. But, 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 yeah. but separate in part, I mean, I'll tell you, oh, and I, I, I struggle sometimes telling this story. I, I went to a fertility place not far from here. And I walked in for the very first time. Oh. It, it, there were so many women in there. And, there was so, and I walked out, I said to my husband, I felt like I was at a fast food place yeah. and everybody was just hoping, yeah. just hoping for Ooh. a shot. Don't a cry. Shot. No, it is, it's, it's, it's so, and then I realized, <laughs> oh, you're gonna start crying. I realized, you know, there are companies now who cover, there are now businesses and employers, but still that's, Probably it's not enough. It's, not, it's enough. not enough. It's not enough. You know, I think that it's starting to become part of yeah. a competitive benefits package, yeah. and we are seeing much more access, but yeah. it's still not there. And so, you know, we as providers yeah. and the community have to talk about the importance of infertility. It's only been a few years that infertility is a medical diagnosis, yeah. right? Yeah. Like high blood pressure, diabetes, yeah. asthma, everything else. So, you know, we have to really have the conversation. I want that, that to we'll soak in. It wasn't a medical diagnosis. Until People used years, to just yeah. think something was wrong, wrong with you. you. Absolutely. Right. right. Um, Absolutely. Go going back to the sperm donation, egg donation, and which set this whole conversation off and this notion I've read people say things, you know, oh, they just want a mixed baby and all of this yeah. other stuff that just wasn't true. Judy has four children. Not true. And it doesn't get blacker than the brat. <laughs> 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 no. It's not true at all. Uh, and I'm like, no, I can't. I mean, I mean no. this is, they, they brought attention to something people don't well, talk about. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Your experience is normal for black women searching for a sperm donor. Mm. It is normal. It is not the exception. Okay. The majority of black women do not end up using a black sperm donor. Okay, because of the lack of availability. So this why, is a, why are there no black donors? I, I think it's it's multifactorial. One, again, access, conversation, trying to get rid of the stigma in the black community about family building, about infertility, yeah. about fertility in general. So it's not on our radar. Mm. Also, most of the recruiting practices of sperm banks. They're going to graduate schools. They're going to college campuses uh, looking for sperm. The same members. with egg donation. Absolutely. Um, a lot of the, the women who e donate college, 
um, different journeys, but that pool of, of color is smaller in egg donation as well. Mm. So this is a real conversation that you brought to the forefront and that nobody was talking about this openly until you posted and went on the show to talk about it. Mm. So I love that about this Thank journey because yeah. it hurts <laughs> sometimes to teach, but you're teaching. Doctor, what is the first thing, um, before we go to break, what is the first thing you think people should, um, when they're going into this process, mm -hmm. especially with so many couples now being open about the journey of sperm donation and egg donation? So I think that it can take some time to find the right donor, and that's okay. You know, you talked about the genetic screening, and there are a lot of other factors that you want to look for when you're looking for a sperm But when you're donor. my age, time runs out, girl. <laughs> time runs out. <laughs> And that's you know what? Right. One more thing, we waited, and we were getting waited, alerts from the cryobank. Yeah. We're like, oh, let's, is he black? And he was never black. Yeah. And we have to alerts. talk about the time running out, too, yeah. though. Yeah. Because if we know that, then it's on our radar a little right. bit sooner. Yeah. 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 Well, Doctor, thank you for joining us. And we'll have more with the brat and Judy, the joy of motherhood. I want to know about the nursery. I want to know about the happy stuff behind the headlines after the break. Judy, I'm uh, going behind the headlines. So the countdown is on. We put all the nonsense of the haters behind us and it's going to the joy. Yes. Yes. Judy, you have Kaleidoscope, your beauty brand. You have this global mogul empire here and now you're about to have a new baby. Your, your youngest prior to the baby coming is how old now? 22. So... <laughs> Dude, I know. Judy! <laughs> okay, okay. Judy, do you know how many baby things have changed since 22 years ago? Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get in front of it because I know that now there's a thing called gentle parenting that I'm trying to understand. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, have you talked about that? We, we kind of <laughs> did. I feel like we definitely have two different parenting styles. Yeah, from... but you'll mesh together on it. Yeah. How's yeah. the nursery going? Is it, is it brat, brat -a tat tat No, we <laughs> <laughs> We're doing a mommy and me room. You're doing a mommy and me room? Yeah, so his his crib will match our bed. It's getting redone now. Like it's gonna be a whole little cute thing with the mm -hmm. the uh, clouds is the ceiling yeah. and just 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 the whole thing. We're so excited. Now everybody they do a playlist. Ah, oh, do they? <laughs> <laughs> well, people, I had a playlist. For not what on, delivery? Yeah, when you go in, but when you are the brat. You play Biggie. <laughs> I, I am not going to sing it because it costs a lot of money for me to sing it. <laughs> well, I'm so happy, Judy. I, I see you're just so sincere. And I know it's been an up and down roller coaster, but I hope you both are seeing the joy and the love that people are sharing, including here. Yes, yes. In this audience. Thank you. Thank you. They love you. We love you. So it's about to get extra busy around here. Congratulations. And know you always have a safe space to talk to. We love you. Congratulations. You. The Brad and Judy. And you can catch season three of Brad 